Next we're going to look at simple close curves. Triangles are part of a more general class of geometric figures called simple closed curves. A simple closed curve is a figure that lies in a plane and can be traced so that the starting and end points are the same and no part of the curve is crossed or retraced. So for example, this would be a simple closed curve or even maybe different types of hats These are all simple closed curves because the starting region ends, starting and end point are at the same place and they never cross each other. One example that's not a simple closed curve would be something like drawing the number 8 or if you look at it invertedly, infinity. A simple closed curve also can be a rectangle. or drawing a pencil without defining the eraser point because I started and ended at the same point. If I had drawn this pencil and went in here and back around, that would not be a simple closed curve because I would have crossed over my line more than once, or at least once. A circle is a simple closed curve that consists of all the set of points equidistance from a given point called the center. So if this is the center of my circle, there is at least one point here that's a certain distance from the center. There is at least another point that's equidistant from the center, and another point, and another point. Now if I chose a point further out, say here, in a circle, there's another point that's exactly equidistant from the center that matches this point, and vice versa. And inside, this is be called the center. So here we would say this is the center of a circle. A circle is named by its center in the circle. So if we call this x, we would call this 0x for circle x.
both circles have a center. Diameter. And half of the diameter is the radius, which would be this part. So here, let's call this R. Let's call this D, that's representing all of this. A line segment joining the center with a point on the circle is called the radius. The length of the radius of the circle is double the diameter. So you could say diameter equals 2r, or you could divide this by 2 by 2, and then you could say that r equals d over 2. So for example, if the radius is 6 inches, what would the diameter be? It would be 6 inches times 2, 12 inches, or 1 foot.